In this particular video, I will be talking about buying ads and buying lists. So we're going to talk about building a list, using co-registration leads, setting up your autoresponder series to build trust, choosing a reputable co-registration company, and knowing the difference between the different types of leads. Now, using the other promotional methods you've discovered in this video, you should be building your own list. However, in this section you'll discover the benefits and the potentials, pitfalls, of purchasing lists. It can be a very risky thing, but if you can do it right, then great. Let's talk about building a list using co-registration leads. Now let's see how you can build your own list quickly by buying co-registration leads. If you don't know what a lead is, in this case, a co-registration lead is a subscriber that requests more information on a topic or subscribes to a certain newsletter at the same time they're joining another list. For example, if the subscriber is signing up for company ABC's newsletter and checks a box to join company XYZ's newsletter at the same time, then he has co-registered for those two newsletters. So he's basically considered a co-registration lead. And the next thing on the list to do is to set up an autoresponder series so that you can build trust with your readers. Now this type of lead does not know who you are. So they didn't come directly to your site and sign up on your newsletter. So your first job is to build trust with the leads by setting up a 7 to 12 message autoresponder series that's highly targeted to the type of information the leads are seeking. But here's a quick tip. Do not promote anything in the first few messages in the series. And that brings us to choosing a reputable co-registration company. You can research any company thoroughly and then choose companies that not only have a good reputation, but also have a long history in providing quality leads. That's why you need to know the difference between the types of leads. Now some leads convert better than others, so that's why you need to pay attention to the types of leads. Now these can include the following leads. Leads that are gathered by asking prospects to specifically join your newsletter. For example, those are the best leads, but also more expensive. And more importantly, you'll see leads for sale that were gathered by asking prospects if they wanted more information about a particular topic. Another type of lead is called fresh leads. The more recently the lead was collected, the better. Because one thing you've got to realize is these leads, if they are used over and over again, and what happens is they're just useless. But if they're fresh, then that's great because they haven't been bombarded with all those emails. Another lead type is co-registration forms that do not include pre-checked boxes. If a lead has to check a box in order to get more information, then the lead tends to be more responsive to the offers. And then we have leads that are co-registration forms that are for other newsletters. These types of leads are gathered as they subscribe to other newsletters and tend to be better than leads that are gathered through contest entries, games, and similar. Then we have co registration leads with limits on how many people will get those same leads. And that's what I was talking about earlier. If the company sells the same leads over and over, then the leads lose their value or their responsiveness because they get hammered with emails and offers. So the key is to start small. Once you've found a reputable company that's selling quality leads, then you can 
go ahead and purchase the leads. However, start small by buying a small list and then mail a portion of the list just to get a sense of how responsive that list is.